I have free packs from Tarzay and Tarzay, which is Target. And I'm going to open them. I or ordered them from Target online. And I wanted to kind of see if it's possible to get anything good from them. So now, interestingly enough, uh, they came in, I guess, the blister packs. But it was very damaged. So the shipping was a was not good. So Walmart, I only bought three packs because I don't know why. So I bought six, so then I can compare it to Walmart. Last time in Walmart, I pulled these two out of six packs, which is really, really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we get from uh, Tarze. So three packs of Eternal, our Masters 25. They cost $9.99 a pack, which is the MSRP. I think I'm okay with, like, if it was Iconic Masters, I would not be so okay with the MSRP. But Masters 25, yeah, who knows. Alright, we got a Renewed Faith. Oh, okay, I already see a blue common. That is not good. Act of Treason. So it is a blue card. It looks like a common. Foil Ancestral Knowledge. Ember Weaver, Retraction Helix, Dice of the Moors, Disfigure, Pillage as a common, Core Firewalker, Exclude, Freed from Real, Freed from Real. I always read this as Freed from Reality for some reason. Oh sh crap! We got Jace. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, so Tarze, um, Tarze has been very good to us. Arcane Denial, yeah, that was, I saw a common. Um, we made back our money and then some from the epic Tarze. So again, I got these free packs from Target and I Target Online. I would definitely say that it is highly unlikely that they pack searched it because, uh, I got a JC Mind Sculptor, and we are far ahead. We are like so far ahead in terms of like, I mean, that, that's the best pull you can get, non-foil. And the foil, like you can't really like predict a foil pull. And Jace has a lot of uh, good speculation value as well. But yeah, this JC Mind Sculptor from one pack of Target, I'm gonna buy more packs from Target, guys. I'm also gonna buy packs from Amazon, and eBay to see how it is because I am curious. Cloud Shift, Erg Raiders, Hoarding Outbursts, uh, Horseshoe Crab, a Ambassador Oak, <laughs> such a weird name, uh, Academy Worker, wow, one Jace. This makes up the, like a whole half the value of a box at, re at um, not retail, but at discount, at normal prices. Colossal Dreadmall. Nope. Skeleton Eyes. I remember that card. Zoilic Cavern. Treasure Keeper. Oh. Caustic Tar. Living Dead. Um, I don't know if Living Dead is worth very much money. It used to be a really good modern deck, but I don't think it is right now. Oh, Invigorate. So Invigorate is really good. It's one of my favorite cards of all time. I think it is banned in Popper because obviously it would be too good. It's a beautiful card and Living Dead is not bad. I'm, I don't know if it makes $10 retail on two cards. Like I don't, I thought this set would have a lot better commons and uncommons, but it doesn't. Conspiracy actually has more hits in those sections than this one. But I'm overall very, very... Arcane Denial is pretty interesting as well. I'm very, very happy with uh, the Jace. The Living Dead is... I mean, you want it to be good, but it's not really good. Oh, here we're, we have an advertisement from Magic Arena. We're advertising that a long time ago, I guess. So let's hope for something good. Savannah Lion. The revised Savannah Lion is like five, ten bucks now. It's pretty good. I wish I had collected more. I did not. Timber Wolf, Pack Wolf, Phantasm Bear, a Bat, 
Counterspell. That's a beautiful counterspell. 